And so now we're leaving Cape Breton Island and continuing through Nova Scotia to the, uh, the west south. You may wonder if the sound sounds a little different now. Um, on the hike yesterday, I fell down and broke off the external microphone with its, what they call a dead cat. It's that furry thing that goes over the mic that stops the wind noise. So you may hear more wind. It's gonna be curious to see whether or not uh, there is a difference because it's a little breezy down here today. Anyway, that's the reason for it. <laughs> she, 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 she pretended to go up and bite your leg. <laughs> uh, all right, treasures. Geologic type treasures.
Well, we have to say that was one of the most delightful stops that we've had on this maritime tour. Uh, four cabins that were delightfully separated from the road and everything else and uh, way out in the in the field and it was very peaceful and the cabins themselves were well separated from each other so even if there had been any noise which there hadn't wasn't at all um, it wouldn't be a problem so it's and, just delightful and we were also facing St. George's Bay which connects with the Gulf of St. Lawrence yeah it's which was beautiful, beautiful beautiful scenery wonderful lovely beach walk it goes on for maybe a couple kilometers around the point and over to what looked like it may have been a trailer park uh, possibly with a restaurant who knows we didn't go that far but yeah just lovely well today a little bit something different uh, <laughs> we're out here we're in a place where the cell service isn't so great so my maps weren't working that well they are now though and uh, we're going to a kind of a special spot for the night. I think it's going to be a little bit more unique. Uh, and the directions we have to get there is first of all, meters, turn right under Blois Road. we had to uh, stop in at a place called AT Space Orange Space RV, which I thought must have been a typo, but it, it wasn't. Um, and uh, that's where we pick up the key and the key fob for this place that we're going to. Take the next right onto Blois Road. Mm, okay, that must be it. Okay, well, we're gonna see. Uh, all right, uh, we just Continue follow on this. Blois Road for four kilometers. We follow this along for, he said about five kilometers, I guess it's more like four. Don't turn off it, stick right to the road until we see a particular sign and then campground will be on the left. Anyway, this is the kind of stuff we're having to deal with today <laughs> and I hope it has a good uh, outcome and I think it will. Like this map is leading us there nicely, so that's okay. good. Wow, very interesting and unique. Oh, okay. Very cute. Interesting experience.
So now that it's dark, it actually looks quite uh, magical in here. The lights are on some sort of a program. Okay, well we got things working here. The last question was how do we get heat in here? And there's this thing. So we're burning an outdoor propane appliance inside. And we have one window open and there's two vents. So I think that probably that's gonna be okay. According to the staff, that's what they do. It's okay, so. No, it wasn't okay. By using the floor fan up against a window to increase airflow through the room, we were able to avoid dying during the night. And it was pretty smelly. This room only works if you don't need heat. And our green ball over there is glowing, Mona. Couldn't figure out how that thing was working. It has no, it has no power, visible power connected to it. So I'm not really sure what the story is with that. No, no, you turn them off when you want. Eh, it's impossible to see now, I guess, but uh, there's a friendly beaver here. And that's him down in the water. It's just after sundown. The place calls him Justin the Beaver. <laughs> Justin the Beaver. And says so he comes out every night around six or seven. <laughs> 